Hey, welcome to the Gurge. I just picked up this power cable to hook into the Blue Eddy. This is the uh, 5521 plug. It comes with an adapter so that you could use it for charging in this 12 volt DC, but I, that's not my use of this. I'm going to use this 5521 plug to plug right into this jack in the Blue Eddy. I like how solid that connection is there, and I'm going to use that to power the diesel heater. So. One thing I liked about this cable, and I'll, I'll put an Amazon link in the description, is that it came with the Anderson pole connector. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to show up that well, but it's assembled so that you would have one on top of the other. I usually do them side by side, so I don't know if I do it incorrectly or this was done incorrectly. I'm going to fix this one. It's a real easy fix. You can see the, the way I do these is I've got them side by side, so there's no way for this one to plug into that. And I'll show you how to fix this. It's, it's really straightforward. So to change this around, what you're going to do is you just pull this jacket back. And you can separate these. And then you can put them together side by side. So I want them to mate with this. Therefore, let's see which side. I guess I could just do it like that. That's how I want it. Um, so I'm going to put the red on the right, black on the left, like so. And that's how I want it to go together. So when they mate, they'll go like that. So let's put that together. It's, again, it's really straightforward, easy fix. Just got to get them separated first. Slide those together and, and we're done. So this, I like this covering though, that's a nice touch. All right, so now I can just plug this into the diesel heater and these lock in securely, I like that. This locks in securely into the Blue Eddy EB3A. Turn the EB3A on. There we go. And we're powered up and ready to go. So I like this connection. This is a much more secure connection. I feel it's a bit safer. I like the Anderson Power connectors and this connector. Again, this cigarette lighter connector is just not that stable as far as I'm concerned. Like you can wiggle it and see the power flicker there. So I'm not a big fan of using these for a long term. So guys, future video, I'm going to cover running the diesel heater on the EB3A to see how long it lasts. I've already determined it works on the DC side. There's an earlier video I did on that subject, and I'll put a link to that video in the description so you can check it out. But it does work. It starts up, um, and it works fantastic. If you're running the diesel heater at 4 hertz, I think it'll run about 10 hours, maybe a little more. When I lowered it down to 2 hertz, it increased the runtime prediction on the EB3A to something like 22 hours. So that's awesome. If you're running it at a low level, it should run for a really long time. And that's really good news for people using these little power banks uh, in emergencies or for camping or, or what have you. Uh, they work great for that. I also have a solar setup upstairs that I use to recharge this. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you want to be notified when there's more videos coming out, um, please like and subscribe and have a good one.